hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we have sasha as you can see her hair has been cleaned washed moisturized oiled okay so what i'll be doing guys as the title says is just some jumbo knotless braids for her with a splash of color i'm going to be using the color hot pink for her so i'm cutting the hair right down the middle because i want to be able to pack this into two bonds and i want it to have a very neat line down the middle so this style is for my ladies for my moms for my aunties and uncles who don't like to bother themselves with the size of you know the box braids and don't know how to um um you know gauge the sizes okay this is a good way for you to do it so what i'm doing now is just sectioning that part um into two okay try and make it as equal as possible so after cutting it right down the middle okay what i'll be doing is to divide this section into four so what i like to do is to divide every section all together before i start braiding it okay because um, as you go along the way the hair is getting dry even though i actually do um spray her hair with uh, water from time to time you just want to do uh, make it as easy for your daughter or your son as much as possible so what i'll be doing is just twisting the hair uh, like so you know putting a little uh, molding uh, wax to separate those lines perfectly So, so guys this is a clear picture of what i'm doing so i'll just be doing the knotless braid method you want to do one or two uh, tons of hair and then add the braid on that if you want a detailed video on how to do knotless braids i could leave that separately So guys i keep saying this this is one of my anthem always detangle the hair properly before you start braiding your kids hair that is half the work okay detangling is half the work so what i'll be doing is just raise the hair up to the point where i'll be packing it just to see um if uh, i'm on the right uh, track so why i'm doing this is i don't want the coils to start before um i pack the hair i want it to start after i pack the hair so that's why i keep gauging it to see uh, how far i need to go after her hair obviously you need to pass uh, your kids hair and if your kids hair is really long okay there's a method you can do uh you can use rather to reduce the length of her hair that will be done in a separate video in the future so guys the way i was tying the knot wasn't so clear so i'm just going to do another one uh before i start fast tracking the whole process for you to see so i'm just separating my um extensions okay it's always good to have this separated some people like to do everything all together i mean i'm working with the kids sometimes they get playful they run around they turn uh, when they're not supposed to so i don't want hair all over the place so i just try to separate only the ones i need at the time so you just want to do one or two stitches before you put your uh, braids also i like to mention depending on the section of the hair that is how much uh, extension you're supposed to use okay uh, you don't want to use uh, extension that are too thin and it just looks ridiculous i don't want to use extension that are too big and it just looks like the hair is <laughs> the hair is hanging by a thread so you just want to get um the perfect um extension size out what i usually do is that when i part my child's hair into three before i start plating how one section looks is how thick the extension to, should be i don't know if that makes sense okay so this is it so you want to take a piece of hair and twist it around the um, braid and then tie then you want to separate that into two and twist one part and twist the other part as well this way um, the hair is not going to unravel no matter what 
so guys we are done with this section we're just going to repeat this for the other section before we go to the other side so guys i had a change of mind what i actually did was just to separate the whole hair entirely and after doing that the hair was dry so i just had to rehydrate the hair again so this is also a good way you know because sometimes your daughter might decide to sleep might decide to lay down and since you already have the patterns uh in place all you have to do is just uh braid the hair this is actually the, the main the main work to me so you can detangle where you need to um you need to put more um molding wax where you need to just you know freestyle freestyle as much as you can So this is what one side is looking like it's looking really good looking really nice okay so guys i actually did not want to tuck in her hair in the braid because i like the transition from mixed that is the pink and the black to plain pink i feel if it's just going to be all pink without any uh, black showing i think it's going to look ratchet honestly guys so whenever you're doing a style like this you want to try and make sure that her hair peeps out as much as possible just to give that smooth transition because i mean this is still a child that you're working with and just heavy solid color without any mix might just be i don't know i don't know i don't know how to explain it guys i just feel to me i mean for my own taste i don't like when i just see um, colored hair on kids without that you know natural hair or just that blend uh shown i would actually prefer you to use an ombre colored um extension or you mix the color but just those solid colors bright solid colors without any um i think i'm rambling too much but you, you get the point <laughs> So i'll be leaving some clips you know as i said whenever i'm making my daughter's hair she loves to talk she's very expressive and she likes to have conversations so i'll just be leaving one or two clips of uh, the kind of things she says whenever i'm making her hair So this style i would say took me um roughly one hour 30 minutes to do because we had a little break in between So, so guys we are the last braid as you can see everything is looking juicy i'm going to be leaving the time method again for you guys to see okay so you just twist it one time separate that into two and then twist the uh two sections that you'll be making So we're just going to do a little trimming here and there okay so i'll be using this um perm rod i think that's what they're called i've had this for a very long time i think for over eight years yeah so i wasn't really satisfied with the grip from the uh, holder so i actually did put some rubber bands that i'll be showing you so you always want to comb out the extension so that it will be smooth and your coils will look nice you don't want it to be tangled when you're doing it then you just want to wrap that around the pen rods or you could use flexi rods i think there's a method they use um here in nigeria where they use tread So I'll just be putting the rubber band at the top and at the bottom and the hair will not move from this um, position. 
so we're just going to be doing that for the whole hair like so so guys when i'm putting hot water on my daughter's hair ah i always use a blanket too because me i don't want stress so i always use these items right i use a cup okay very deep cup then i use a flax i don't use a kettle right from the fire or an electric kettle i always pour it into a small flax that i can hold something i can control Them inside my hand, okay. and my legs are coming out from the bracket. What was that? Mommy, would I have been on iron? I feel this is a better method because sometimes people already have the water in the cup and by doing so the cup is already hot and then when you put it close to your kid's face um it just gets hot and irritating so as you can see the cup is very deep so where the hot water is entering into the cup is still down below that is not even close to her face once the cup is halfway full i'm going to pour that out before i continue doing uh the hot water method i will not allow the cup to get you didn't touch my hair no. As you can see, Sasha keep asking me, is it touching me? Baby girl, if it was touching you, go feel him. Like seriously, girl, you feel it. Did <laughs> it touch my hair? So I also use a fan, okay, just to um, blow on it. Like if you're in a hurry and you can't wait for it to get cold, you can actually just use a fan to cool it down. It was not cold no, water, but hot water. Okay, mother Sasha. Always talking. Did it touch me? Baby girl, if this thing touched you, you will feel it. You will feel it, Mommy, mama. Did it touch me? so guys i think you get it that's just what you need to do for everything and then when it cools down it doesn't necessarily have to dry um you unravel it i also forgot to cut out the end but i did it when i packed her hair so guys this is what it's looking like it's actually looking really beautiful as so but again guys i said i don't want to leave this hair down okay i will be packing this hair i'm just going to be leaving a clip on how i do her baby hairs in front So what i'm doing now is the way you're going to be refreshing this hair every time you know she's going out or every morning per se especially if you're having uh, when you bathe your kids the water will go through the front of their hair and wash out all the gel so you just want to put some gel brush it into the braids okay and then take out your baby hairs so you want to brush first into the braids get the shape of the box before you bring out your baby hairs don't try to do the baby hairs first So guys this is what it's looking like i just want to pack this up uh for her like so after which i'll be trimming the end as i said i forgot to do that after taking down the perm rod so as you can see guys it's already looking beautiful is exactly what i envisioned for her i'm so excited for this hairstyle she looks like a barbie doll so guys this is how it's going to look so what you want to do you just want to shape it okay um i didn't tie it again i didn't fold it again you just want to shape it into place so you can just press it in um like this so this is i just pressed it in i didn't put any other rubber band or any pin on it um the cords will just interlock with each other this is another way to um, wear it as well okay this is the back of the hair guys it looks really good the boxes look really nice so this is the way uh, she's going to be wearing it throughout um her use of this style so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want more content from sasha please do let me know and see you guys in my next video bye